Hey guys, this is Froggy2K9, and today I'm bringing you attempt number two at the video overlay for the Modern Warfare 3. As you can see, there is some slight differences. First things first, I actually got all the attachments, the gun, the perks. Oh, I got all that right this time, so... I've also color-coded some of the stuff I've included as well. Some game mode style stuff at the top there, the confirmed and denied, so you can see what I've dog tags I actually click, and you can tell whether I'm a team player or not a team player. It's up to you, really, to tell me whether I'm not or I am. I class it as if I get 10 or more confirmed kills, then that's technically a team player. If I get 10 or more denies, then that's technically a team player, but I'd say confirmed is a little bit more important. So if I confirm the kills, then, then I'm a team player. Denying doesn't really matter too much. Denies are more of more of a personal achievement than they are anything. Because you can just say, you know what, I, I stopped him from confirming that kill. Yeah, I'm boss. But anyway, as you can see, got the kill streak up on there, or the strike package up on the right-hand side there. That will be the same throughout all of them. The strike package will be the same. Uh, the video is a little bit too low for the actual overlay. I don't know why this happened. It didn't look like that in the preview. I actually got it all lined up correctly, so I don't know why it did that. It's a little bit lower than it should be. Who knows? I don't know. But text, I think I think the the way the the numbers look is pretty much okay. And I position them pretty much in the center of each of them. Position them is quite hard because you have to literally reposition and then come out to look at the actual video, reposition, come out to look at the video, reposition. It's it's quite a difficult process in the way I do it. Because I have no other way of doing it, or at least I don't know any other way of doing it. I'll literally go into the text editor, move the text around the text editor until I get it into the right position, but then I have to come out to check the position of it, so... It's all a bit weird. I don't know where that confirmed kill went. I don't know. I just got an assist. It didn't even confirm it for me. Even though I was right next to him. Um, who knows? I don't know. <clears throat> I've got something... So uh, this, this basically is my second attempt. So if you really, 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 really don't like it, please tell me. And please tell me why you really don't like it. If you want me to add anything else or take anything else out... Please give me a heads up. I like the way the um, perks are set up. I set up a nice little rainbow color scheme behind it. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, as far as everything else goes, this overlay is pretty much. Oh, I'd say it's. I'd say I'd, I'd give it another three attempts before I come up with a final version. This is again is my second attempt, and I know very little about the Photoshop. I, I, you know, I, I know very little about editing. It's it's not a big thing. For me, it's just more of a, again, a hobby. This is all a hobby to me, but I find it extremely fun to do well at what I do. And, I, you know, I, I suppose this is better than what a lot of people could do. But there's a lot of people out there that could do better as well. So, I don't know. Um, the color scheme behind it, I, I don't know why the green suddenly decided to overtake everything. I, I set it up so that it was half and half, but again, when the when the actual image rendered out, it rendered out different. I don't know why. I'm going to have to reattempt that, but as far as the rest of it goes, I think it looks quite cool. Second, I sectioned off a little bit at the bottom there to cut off the KDR, keep the discs and the streaks out of the picture a little bit. But then again, I didn't account for the fact that some kills come from other things. I thought, you know, if, if I'm covering the primary weapon, the secondary, and the grenades, and like the kill streaks, I'm pretty much covering everywhere that kills can come from. But then I forgot that kills can also come from weapons you pick up off the floor, so I might introduce kills into that little slot as well to cover the kills. As far as, as, far as it goes, any weapons I pick up off the floor, I'm just putting in the secondary slot. The kills go into the secondary slot there. Uh, instead of the pistol, because technically it's taken over the position of my pistol, so I... Anyway, I don't really, I don't really know. I, th I think it's okay. Um, so yeah, the next one will be similar to this, slightly different maybe. It'll be very, very similar to this, in fact. Except uh, I believe the kills will be introduced into their... Um, 
there's confirmed, there's denies, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know too much about what else I could include. As far as other videos go, I will have a new video showing you a flawless, and I'll break down a flawless for you like I broke down my Osprey Gunner, or one of my Osprey Gunner games. I'll actually be breaking down a flawless for you guys, so you'll be, uh, you, you be able to see a flawless. And I don't know, there really isn't much else to say. I hope you like the color code. It's red for the first setting on the confirmed and the denies. It's red until I become sort of a team player. It goes it goes it goes amber if you know it if I'm getting better at becoming a team player, if I'm getting slightly better, you know, I've I've confirmed enough to officially pass myself as a team player when it goes green I'm definitely a team player and uh, you know there's no way you can say I'm not if I set it up at like if, if I go any higher say I get to like really really high numbers of confirmed or denies then I'll probably send it to like a goldy color or yellowy color or something like that just to show that you know uh, I'm I have team played and there's no way you can't say I haven't you know you can't say I haven't team played because I definitely have confirmed enough kills to pass for that as far as kill streaks go, when I get to my first kill streak, it goes red. When I get to my second, it goes amber. When I get to my third, it goes green. And if I ever, 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 ever do uh, get, oh, sorry, if I get to the specialist, it's definitely going to go uh, yellow. I'm not sure what color to send it. If I ever get a Moab again, you know, I, I don't know what color I should send it from Moab. If you guys want to tell me a color, I'll, uh, I'll cover that color for the Moab. But I've already got the the rest of the kill streaks down. As far as deaths go, the deaths slowly change color from green to red. And if I get to like five kills, it goes amber. I think it's amber right now. But if I get to like ten kills, and I'll send it red, as in like you know you died too many times. This is this is getting a bit ridiculous now. Sort of design. Uh, as you can see, I've got my primary and secondary grenades. They're, they're covered all in one slot, so if I get any kills that are accountable by those, then they are covered, so I don't need to worry about them. The KDR, again, counts as normal. And uh, that's it. That's game. I think that is, anyway. So, if you've enjoyed this, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Put any of your ideas in the comments. I'd love to hear them. It's been a happy days, you know? Happy days.